Okay, Ross, you just defended your 100 meter breaststroke title with a new Scottish record. It was only 0 0.01 off the British record. What a race that was. Um, you know, I was, I was aiming for that British record for a while um, after I went 59 8 last, se last season, but you know, that meant a lot to me that swim tonight. I don't really care, to be honest, tonight that I missed out on that British record. For me, it was just about doing enough to get myself on the number one spot again. I wanted to come here to defend my title, and that's exactly what I've done. You lowered your Scottish record last week at the Scottish Nationals as well. Has it been difficult doing two really fast times and consecutive competitions two weeks in a row? Um, yeah, it was. You know, last night I gave everything I could in the, in the semi-finals. It was a 60.1 that I went last night, and that was everything. I didn't have anything more to give last night, um, so I wasn't too sure on how I was going to swim this evening. But, you know, I just gave everything, kept positive, knew exactly what I was doing was working out, and just just gave everything tonight. Adam Peaty says he loves having a bit of a rivalry with you, and it really spurs him on. You two were stroke for stroke in the last 25 metres. Do you appreciate the rivalry as well? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, me and Adam went to our first international competition together. We were both at European Juniors in 2012. That's where we both met. We're actually roommates at that event as well. So you know, we go back quite a long way just now. Um, and we've had that rivalry since then, since the London Olympic trials. So yeah, I do really appreciate having Adam there. You know, he spurs me on, I spur him on. I think. The pair of us are going to be like the dynamic duo for Britain's breaststroke later on. And the next step is taking on the likes of Sprenger, Van der Berg, um, at your home Commonwealth Games. You must be really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that. Um, you know, people keep on saying, you know, these guys are the top two in the world, which they are, but you know, somebody's going to have to knock them off that spot one day. Well, well done tonight. Thanks very much. Thanks.